Hello everyone, this is Ramya. The topic for today's session is Applications of Data Mining in Business and Management. Okay, so outline for the session today is we're going to like look into what it is and then what is the process for data mining and what are the various applications of data mining in today's world. Okay. So first, I just want to ask a question. What do you really understand from these numbers or, or the table you see here? Okay, I see some numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 or 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. I have 1000, 5000, 10,000 and 2000. So yeah, I don't get it. So let's see. Oh my god. Okay, it's a numbers which reflects the sales of an ice cream shop quarter wise. Yeah. Okay, so I can understand that for the first quarter the sales were around 1000, second quarter 5000 and it goes on. Yes, it makes really some sense when compared to the previous table. Okay. Here. Okay, so I am doing some interpretation here. So when I see the numbers, the first and fourth quarter, the numbers are very low and then we are doing good on the second quarter and we are pretty much had a good sale on the third quarter so which is the highest so maybe like from this we can just interpret um the first and qu quarter falls in the winter season and we might have uh the summer on our third quarter yeah because the sale of ice cream always goes up during the summer so so imagine you're working in a ice cream shop or you're owning an ice cream shop what do you do so you have these numbers and then you decide okay what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to sell more ice cream on summer but I I having my business pretty less during the other seasons so I'm going to cover the, the loss that I'm going to inquire because I'll be paying the employees the same money and I'll be like paying in the rent electricity bill and everything else as the other quarters so I do I'm going to like compensate that one so maybe I can use some more space in this shop and then and try to sell more um, things that goes according to the seasons or like I can just make some fast foods or sandwiches or burgers so whatever it is you can just or you can try to make it as a coffee shop whatever which which might like goes well on the uh, winter so you have to like pretty you can pretty plan your business very good according to the numbers you see. Wow. So two minutes back, we, for us it was just numbers. But right now what you see is the complete picture of a financials for an ice cream shop and then how you should run it. Okay. So this is what data going to do to us because these numbers are pretty amazing and how you're going to interpret them and get the information out of them is called data mining yes we got there but here we see a very simple table but when you have loads and loads of data stored in very big servers of, or the data warehouses how we're going to deal with that so that's where we'll be using data mining hope oh, yeah here is a flowchart for us so first we have the data which are the raw facts that we saw earlier and then you process that and we get some information out of that saying uh, yes we interpreted during the first quarter the sales were high and low and things like that so that's that's the knowledge that we get okay and then from that you take actions or a decision like what you have to do for the next for your business or for your personal things so this data gives us information and then from information you gain knowledge and then from knowledge you take decisions which will change your business or your personal lives or anything okay so this is the model that the data mining runs on so this is how it works so we just like went through the information so what is data i'm pretty sure that you know this already but i'm just trying to give a revamp on what you know so data is nothing but raw facts representing the events occurring in the organizations we are just going to talk about what happens in the organizations and then how this data can be like mined and can be applied okay so we are like seeing all these things in an organization perspective in a business perspective okay so this data 
or nothing with the raw facts so when you process this raw facts and then uh, gain some inside out of that so that you can apply it somewhere so you call that as information so when the data is processed and you get some insights out of that that you call it as a information okay so here you go there's an example here so on my uh, left I see a list of lines showing some numbers and the products name and the price okay so I have the product code 331 write this show is sold for 1.29 dollars okay so this is just a information log which you get in a supermarket okay so we are trying to like consolidate all the sales which happened in a supermarket and then just try to find out okay how many soaps were sold in a quarter by a particular supermarket so on my right i see this bright dish shop was sold oh my god it's 7156 units were sold by one particular super store uh, supermarket okay so and the item number is 331 so the year in year to day date sales is 9231 dollars okay so this this sale information is for one particular store and imagine my super I own a retail chain so I have to calculate all the sale of this product for the whole uh, supermarket chains so this is where you are applying your data mining techniques understand okay how I can consolidate all my numbers and then I could I can find out okay what's my sale and what's my profit so this is the real application here okay so we just got the hang of it right now we we really like get deep into it okay so what is data mining so people always think when you just get data out of uh, nowhere or your from your business systems people think that is name data mining that's what it says actually but actually it is not so when you extract information from this data or from your data warehouse and then you find some meaningful patterns or insights from it by doing a lot of st statistic analysis by applying a lot of techniques on it by using different kinds of tools the whole picture it is called as data mining okay so it is like coined recently in our 1990s okay and people recently call us call it as knowledge discovery in databases kdd or uh, right now you call that as data anal uh, analytics data science we pretty much have different names right now okay so as i told you it's a process of finding patterns and correlations within large data sets and finally what do you want to do with that to predict outcomes what's going to happen next okay so we are really interested in like what's going to happen next how we can save things right so in business by applying data mining techniques we are like trying to increase our revenue okay so to uh, by trying to understand what really happens in the business and then we're trying to cut cost and then we want to improve a customer relationship and pretty much we also want to know like we don't want to take more risk so i don't know whether this project can be risky or not so i don't know so you can analyze that whether this project is risky to invest or is it risky to invest in the stock you can all find you can find all that through applying data mining techniques okay so why this data mining should be used everywhere okay so in the olden days a number of businesses were a little less and then right now after this advancement in the computer technology we have a lot of businesses going on and because the needs of the people has increased mind-blowingly okay so this rapid computerization leads to generation of lots and lots of data and then you have to really make use of this data to understand your business your clients and what's the need of the future and then for that you have to really apply your data mining techniques and then realize okay what i can do 
so that i can sustain my business in the future i i can really say that um corporations that exist right now will not be like existing in the next 20 30 years that's for sure unless they are updating themselves okay so this is the cross standard cross industry standard process for data mining this is kind of universal where everybody in the whole world follows this okay so first when you have to apply data mining first you have to understand your business and then you have to understand your data and then so you understand okay so this is what my data i just want to predict whether uh, this particular customer uh, is going to uh, be like moving out of my company or not so i just want to know the customer attrition rate for example i'm just saying so oh, i'm trying to understand the business on what factors the customer might churn and what factors they may not churn and then we understand my data okay what kind of data i have numerical or text or like or i'm going to like uh, use audio or videos or just scan copies of documents so you understand your data and the way of processing it and then you prepare your data for that and then do modeling by applying all machine learning algorithms by selecting the tool in it and then you evaluate the model so if you think okay something went wrong and then you go back to your business understanding then come back and repeat the whole process if you think everything is perfect please deploy it okay so i'm uh, kind of like rushing through this because it's just a 15 minute presentation okay so it's actually a um big process we can just like talk about for hours and hours okay so let's look into data mining right now so it's, data mining has been applied in almost all the industries right now i'll just tell you briefly like where it is applied and how it is applied so all this banking and insurance companies to companies use this to like identify okay is it easy the uh, right applicant to uh, give him a loan or a credit card okay say so they do this by uh, checking the past history uh, and then your past history as well as the, their previous experiences so they apply this data science techniques and then just find out okay whether you are a potential defaulter or not okay and then customer relationship management it's kind of a little difficult nowadays because it's it's very very difficult to like main, maintain a customer right now because there is a lot of options right now so so uh, data mining is been used to identify okay who's going to like churn right now as i told you before okay and then it has been used in targeting marketing so right now where companies use a lot of money in 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 marketing the products okay so sometimes it go waste sometimes you are you are targeting a wrong person for example you are trying to sell a sell an ice cream uh, to a uh, toddler yes it, it it is good but when you are like trying to sell a beer for a toddler it, it it's not it's not right right so when i say toddler like maybe you can just take a teenager or yeah sometimes it applies to or or a school guy who's less than 10 years you can like target him for selling your ice cream but not your beer okay so here you really have to identify to whom you have to target so this is where this data mining techniques has been applied so that it can target the person who's really looking for this product or service that that you're offering okay so that's by your your cutting your marketing cost so it it uh, here you're not trying to earn more money but you're trying to save some money and in the result you're earning it okay so this has been applied by book my show it's a famous app right now to book your shows and movies online okay so this has been used by all the financial institutions to track whether there is a fraudulent activities happening in in your uh, financial transactions okay so if something is wrong people can really identify it using data mining techniques and this has been also used in manufacturing uh, companies to identify uh the failure rate of a product uh, so that they can in, uh, keep their quality percentage high okay thank you for uh, listening me out please let me know your feedback thank you